hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, alarm tower so first we are going to create the alarm tower as the child of the generator because we have this destructible component like a fuse box and so my plan is if player destroy this fuse box uh, the alarm will be disabled so no more alarm going off uh, and if player don't do that and if the enemy is notice the enemy they can turn on the alarm and possibly attract some backup or just go the siren turn on the siren things like that so first let's create this blueprint and here is the demonstration of what i have done so far so for the moment it only activates the alarm automatically after 10 seconds just for demonstration purposes see you can hear the siren going off and you can see the blinking lights so all right let's see how to do these things today okay so i have imported this uh, alert tower so yeah that's the next thing i wanted to implement implementing an alert tower mm -hmm. here so i'm going we have some lights and speakers so uh, i'm going to implement this as a child of uh, uh, generator that we worked on previously this is a fuse box so this is sort of going to be the control unit of the alert tower so if player destroy this alert tower will not work anymore so enemies will not be alerted and when the alert tower goes off we should have an alarm and the lights should blink and perhaps backups is called things like that i'm going to plan uh, i'm planning to do so uh, i'm going to attach this fuse box into at some position in the alert tower so yeah let's see so first um, as for the alert tower blueprint uh, as i said i'm gonna make it a child of this generator so that it would be easier for us to implement shooting it and exploding things like that and first uh, I need to make this fuse box uh, destructible so we need a to create a geometric cache for that uh, geometric collection for that because this is the part that's going to be exploded and destructed into pieces I'm not going to implement destruction for the alert tower itself because it's too big and I don't think that would look good so uh i mean it will look good but it's uh kind of not realistic if a simple shooting destroy the whole tower itself so yeah let's first create the destructible object from this here in the fracture mode um yeah select this new fuse box geometric collection i'll name it like this gc fuse box and save it inside the other tower folder okay now let's use uh what should i use let's use uniform fracturing and fracture all right so this is how it's going to fracture that's enough and yeah let's go back to the normal mode and i'll remove this all right save all now here we have the geometric collection of the fuse box if i put it here 
and simulate you should see it's falling down yeah so it doesn't get broken because uh, the damage threshold should be a bit higher but uh, we, uh, it will break, break under the if we change this damage threshold let's just try 50 see it's broken okay uh, we don't need this in the world space anyway so here is a generator go to that's it let me delete this generator from here we don't need that uh, let's create a child blueprint from the trap generator I'll name this uh, pp alert tower should we call alert or alarm let's call alarm tower because that's I think that's more common the name Okay, let's open the blueprint. Well, this is what we get because we haven't changed anything yet. So, first thing I'm going to change is the instead of this destructible object, it should we should have this fuse box. So, let's replace it with the fuse box. GC mm, object fuse box and this mesh should be a fuse box alright so this is what we get so this light could be placed in the fuse box maybe Like this so we have a clear indication that this is one of right okay Alright, so it's a clear sign. Now uh, let's put the drag and drop the alert tower here. So, yeah. And where should we put the control unit? Maybe in some site. Oh. Oh, we also have this billboard. I think the billboard should be attached to this object itself. So first, let's move this. Let's go to right. Okay front all right all right so this is where the uh, the control unit is placed and this uh, tag indicator also should come on this should appear on top of this when we tag or if we need we can put it up there also but I think it's it would be more clear
we add it here why it didn't move By the way, this looks large because we are using a, a orthographic camera. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay. Oh, why is it up there? All right. And what about the collisions of this one? Questions are already set. Yeah, actually, I manually set these questions. And let's uh, use metal. Okay, metal physical material is already used. All right. Now let me place one of them and test. Okay, here we have the control unit. Okay, the damage is propagated, that's why these were also destroyed. Oh, a spark should happen here. Mm. Jammed particle should happen here. Maybe, yeah, let's go here. Jammed particle. I should make it a uh, child. SM object Right So yeah, I'm going to stop this episode right here and in the next time I'm going to work on the alarms and how does the enemies react to the alarms and how do they activate alarms, so the details like that. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available here for the download. In the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon file. See you in another episode. Goodbye.